And welcome back everybody to Captive Minecraft for Winter Realm. We're heading back into the nether. I know it has been very bad luck for us, but today we're doing the ups and downs of the nether. And I'm joined with Tyler and Cameron. Say hello. Hi. Hi. That's my boys. And we're right, right next to death, basically. We're, we're gonna die instantly here. And another way of saying it, bad luck. Very bad luck, yes. Always bad luck. This nether has been nothing but bad luck for me. So yes, there is a chest right there that I have not gotten yet. I really should. Blazes are everywhere. There is a ton. There's spawners down below. So as much as there's usually a lot of pigmen, there's even more. Can you forget to refill your bowl of I just ate it when I came in here, and I'm going through, whoa, I'm going through my food really fast because I have to heal from that. All right, let's see what's inside. Oh, I can't. Like, why can't I see what's inside? You want to be here for a reason. It's a double chest. Huh. No, it's on this side. I should be able to... Yeah, it's a double chest. It's a double chest. It is. How come? Weird. Usually I can... Okay, well, I guess I can't get that. Um, you guys, should we go up all the way up to the ceiling or should we go down first? Down. Down first. Pigman, excuse me. Yeah, I know. There's the doggy I rescued in the last video. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I didn't bring any bones. Look at this, always so many pigmen. How'd you rescue you? Um, inside all these buildings. Oh, these blaze. These blaze are so annoying. In yeah, yeah, there's a couple of cows. Um, inside all these buildings, there's little notches. See that little notch right there, way up there? Um, oh, he went outside. How did you... He just walked on outside. Okay, bye cow, I guess. Luckily I have some. Cows are in the <laughs> yeah, and there's a pig. There's a pig wandering around. I saved him inside this one. Uh, I hear him, but I don't see him. There's it's a pig. It's not like there's no supposed to be animals in the nether. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just what the map maker did. Anyway, we're gonna head down. We're not gonna waste too much time here. Uh, I figure this is a good spot to head down, only because there's no blaze. Uh, all right, or much of anything else. Is there any achievements in the Nether? There is. I think I got most of them already, though. Um, like return to sender. I got. Sorry, I hear Enderman. I know you guys can't hear because I don't have headphones on, I have headphones, but I hear Endermen, and I think... I mean, Endermen do spawn in the nether now, but I think... Oh yeah, 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 look at that. Oh, hi. Did I just hit the pigman? No. Don't, don't do it, dude. That's part of the problem. Oh, they're into that. Uh, we're going to need these guys because, um, as much as these guys don't give me an achievement for killing them, they do drop skulls, and skulls are what I need for a wither. So let's cut right across here. Oops, luckily I made another one. Why do you need a wither? A wither boss does give you an achievement. You have to kill a wither boss to get one of the final achievements. It gives you another star, which makes you a beacon. And the beacon is the final achievement. So you get an achievement for summoning a wither, you get an achievement for killing the wither, and then you get an achievement for making a beacon out of the star that you get. I think you're ready. No, I'm not ready. If you go by the achievements, actually, let's take a look. If you go by the achievements here, we're in the nether, we got that. We got into the fire, which is getting the blaze rod. After that is locating the end. Um, so then we have to go to the end, and then we have to beat the dragon, and come back, and then the beginning is which is the wither, and then you get the star which kills the which is killing the wither, and then that. So we're definitely not there yet. We have to get to the end and kill the dragon first, which is why we need those wither skulls. But in order to get to the end, there's also something else we need, which is um, Eye of Ender to activate the portal. Correct. So this guy's gonna walk right into my field of view, make try and kill me. But we're going to make ourselves a safety platform here. If these guys could stop walking into my field of view. There's a Enderman portal right here. Portal. portal. Yeah. Uh, spawner. I got portals on the brain. <laughs> Good call. And there's a chest. Which has our last piece of paper, which means we can get an achievement today. Because I have two pieces of paper. And you need three to make a what? A book. 
Ah, book. And you need a book. You trapped that Enderman in there. I did. He's going to have to live with it because I'm going to kill him. Um. There, see? <laughs> Keep him as a pet. See, there's a there's an Ender Pearl. That's yeah, he did. Um, that's one more step to getting our portal activated. Uh, there's certainly no shortage of Blaze. Oh man, these Blaze. They've been the bane of my existence, these Blaze. They've been killing me every time. The worst is when I go through the portal, because they start killing me as I go through the portal. And, uh, and I know I take like a ton of damage. Bye, guys. Yeah, they're gonna die now. So... What I'm afraid of is getting close to these sides here and uh, and having one of them like push me off. There. That should cut that off to the bottom. See, I'm making... What I'm doing here is trying to make it so that there's like a little thing for the, the lava to sit in, like a cup there. So that should stop it from going down below. And it did. Because I need to get wither skulls. To get wither skulls, I have to make sure that the wither skulls aren't falling into the lava. Uh, I'm just making everything two blocks high. I'm going to destroy all this stuff. So I'm just trying to make everything two blocks high here. Whoa, you guys. Yeah, exactly. The Enderman and the Wither Skeletons are three blocks high, so if I give myself a two block high... Area. No, they are three blocks high. You can make an area... There's still one of these guys mad at me. You can make an area with a two block level like this, and you will be safe. You can hit them just like this. Oops, that's not in the right spot. There we go. This gives him more spawning space and more space to walk around. Like, if I hit him, he's not going to fall down there now. So now I can just stand here and do this. Yeah. Okay, so we have this set up. I'm not going to bore everybody watching me staying here and, and hit these guys in the face. Or in the legs, I suppose. Stomach. Yeah, uh, we need to set up in a similar system down here, only without letting these guys actually kill me. Whoa! There's a lot. Yeah, they stepped up there somehow. Uh oh, skeleton shooting. Um, so I need to figure out a system to do down there to do something similar. Um, we need to be able to kill those guys. But I need to be able to kill those guys without accidentally hitting a pigman is the thing. And right now there's pigmen down there. That's possibly easy. Possibly? Also possibly not easy. You could try to, to block the pigmen. Or pigmen in, um, in a system. Mm, yeah. I did, yeah, that's lower than all the other ones, but it still works. I guess we could put that just for safety's sake. Okay. Um, I was gonna break that one that was underneath. I think this should do... What I should do is reverse this and have two along the outside and then in the middle where these guys can spawn, but I think this will be okay. Wait, when they spawn, they'll suffer... Suffer... Suffocate? Alright, so we got three of these. I think we are actually doing pretty good on that already. We have those guys down there. Um, should we continue going down some more? I don't know if we can continue this way. No. That would be a no. Um, I think we can continue past this, though. Let's go back in here and go past this. Well, they're spawning outside of that. It's like saying that a zombie would spawn out. Zombies do sp spawn in the wall sometimes, but... So we're at 23. Let's continue on. Get down all the way down to the bottom. I hear slimes. I'm, we're getting closer to slimes, so I want to see... I hope... What happens when you're ran in the border too long? 
Uh, nothing. But if you go too far to the other side, like if I could manage to get to the other side somehow, like there's not technically a way, but like say you teleported and you found yourself outside the border, you would die. Really? Yes. Kills it kills you. You're not supposed to be on that side of the world border. I hear slimes. I see slimes. There's a slime spawner. And there's a cactus! <gasps> I need the cactus! Give me the cactus! And there's a chest. How am I gonna... Do I need a slime spawner for anything? For brewing. Well, I can, I can get the achievement without having to brew these specific potions. Um, how am I gonna get that chest? As soon as, like, if I could kill these things, they would just spawn more and... They kill me though. Lava won't kill these guys. Oh, there's nether wart too. That's what I need for my potions. Yeah, they're all pretty immune to uh, lava. Okay, I hit the nether wart means I need to get in there to get that before it despawns. But this guy is just hurting. Oh, I hit the pigman. And I just broke my sword. Is he gonna kill me? He looks like he's gonna kill me. Uh, I do. I have another wart. I need that cactus though too. I really think he's gonna kill me. Maybe. He is. Maybe, maybe that swipe action. Ow! There's a magma cube under my feet. Like I was, it was like I was standing on a, uh, on a cactus. Lots of good things here. There's acacia. I think they're just for, you know, for the sake of, um, collecting. Oh, well, now he's mad. I wonder if I was close enough that all the other ones above will be mad at me too. I'm not leaving without that cactus. I'm not leaving without this. My inventory is very full though. Uh, is there anything I don't need? Well, another rack I really don't need. And you also don't need the What about the another? Mycelium? What? I don't have anything to take to pick up mycelium with, though. I don't have silk touch or anything. We need silk touch? I hear something over here still. I hear swine. Oh, he's up there. I'm just Yeah. He does. Um, so let's grab some more of this. He might be soon. Bedrock. I do. It is at the top and it's also at the bottom. So this could be the death of me here trying to get back up because these pigmen might not be very happy with me. Um, hold on. Oh, well now this is awful. Okay, um... I was gonna go get that chest. I can put a whole bunch of things in the chest because if I die, it'll all just fall and despawn. I wish there was a, a pigman here that I could test with. There's one below. Um, maybe you can ender crawl your way up to like, dodge all the Oh, that would be tricky. At best. Why is there so many endermen here? Guard 
guard my lane? No. If they are mad at me, there's gonna be like 200 Endermen that will want me dead, and there's no there's no defense against that. Okay. It is going lower, but I think there's pigmen down here. Yeah, and Pigman are gonna be mad at me, I think. Okay, no head. Uh, I guess this is the test, right? Yeah, but I kind of want the quartz too. This makes me nervous. Three, two, one. Seem to be mad. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, let's get out of here. We have that stuff. I got it set up. We can come back again. Let's hope that we can get out of here without being set on fire and killed by blazes. Dude, let me out. Luckily, no luckily they're the same. Oh, good, yes, luckily. Hi, doggy. Uh, where's my why, why am I going that way? Okay, here, this way, this way, this way. This way, this way, this way. This is my way to go up to the very, very top. We're going to have to do that as well. But for right now, I want those achievements. So we are going to stop here and meet up again back at the very top. All right, guys. Went up top, got myself some more food, got a few things, and now we're back down here. And you see these three little spots right here? It's actually more than three, but we're going to use this to do that. <gasps> I just realized... I didn't actually craft this. We're going to do this right now because I happen to have a workbench down here. Oh, so you do that, and now it does that. So now I can just go ahead. So we need three of these. We need the three pieces of paper that we have. Why am I obsidian with an iron pickaxe? It's a good question. I'm talking and not paying attention. Wow, it's a good thing you're here. Yeah, that would have taken me forever. So that's one piece of obsidian. That's yeah, because obsidian. You should really get rid of the yeah, water. That's obsidian Two. takes forever to mine. I can't get rid of the water because there's lava underneath, and if I got rid of the water, then as soon as I break, oh, now I'm doing it again. As soon as I get rid of the, if I got rid of the water, as soon as I break this, it would just fall into the lava underneath. Whereas the water will drop faster than the obsidian and turn that into obsidian and the pe my pieces of obsidian will be saved. So there we go. There we go. Now we have three pieces of obsidian. We have three pieces of paper. Uh, I think we're pretty much good to go on the enchanting. Although I still can't make books. There's actually an achievement for a librarian. And to get that, you have to make a bookshelf. For that, you need three books. And I don't have any sugar cane to do that. But we can at least do the enchanting, which I'm very excited about. And then I can enchant my armor and stuff too. And maybe your iron pickaxe, so you stop mining with it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, now I have a diamond pickaxe. I might as well use that. That will last a long time. So here we are. I need this. Um, but I also need this, if I remember. Uh, leather is so that I can do this and how, how do I make an enchanting table I need four I need four pieces of obsidian okay I gotta go back down and get some more no you know what I'm gonna get it right here forget it I I, I got this your lava bucket. Yep. That's fine. Don't mind. I there's a there's a there's a lot of lava down there. I can refill both the buckets. I will be fine. This just saves me some time and having to go up and down. Because I really want this achievement. Here, let's go and get this done. It's 
I always forget. I always forget about this fort. It well, no, it's a, yeah, it's a waste. But at the same time, I mean, that's how you get it, right? Like, there's no other way to get this achievement. So, ooh, everything just moved back, and we're almost at this thing now. And you're already past the other side. How did you do that? Pretty awesome. So, just to give everybody an idea, yeah, well, no, it, it, that, that one wall is pushed back because they're the, the really expensive walls, the diamonds and stuff. We got the cactus, he's safe, he's stuck there, he's never going anywhere. I need to go fishing some more and get some more, uh, there. I need to get some more fish so that I can do that. Why does it say jump? Because this is where it goes to the, the winter vault. So, I got this, pl this planted, I've got this planted, I have to wait for that to grow, I got that stuff planted. Yeah, yeah. Um, these guys still doing their thing. <laughs> uh, seriously? Um, can't get to this chest yet. There's probably a lot of chests that have opened up. Like, I still, this is halfway, so I need another two achievements. Hey, the blue sheep went in here. Did the rabbit just die? I just heard what sounds like the death of a rabbit. Maybe it did fall, but it was in here, wasn't it? Where did it die? Maybe the sheep ate it. Where did it die? There's no wolf hook. There's no wolf. Huh. Sounds like the rabbit just died. I don't need it for any achievements or anything anyway, but that was really weird. Um, okay, so we have all that stuff going. I think we're pretty much out of time anyway. We're gonna grow some stuff. Um, but in the meantime, um, I'm going to head back down below without bothering any pigmen, hopefully, and get some more blaze rods, get some more ender pearls, and try and get some skulls so that we can summon this guy. As much fun as he will be. And then, next video, you know what we're doing? The end. The dragon. Will you guys join me in two days' time to take on the dragon? Maybe. What? What do you mean, maybe? Please like and subscribe. If you haven't already, you get the notification as soon as the next video goes up. It'll be really exciting. I'm looking forward to it. So am I. <laughs> Awesome. All right. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Ciao for now.